What is bundling? In this video, I'll be answering this question, but we need to start from the beginning. Unless you've been living under a rock recently, you may have seen some viral videos on TikTok or Twitter and a trend for meme coins and pump.fun like this kid making $30,000. Oh, holy f Holy You full clip. Holy f Thanks for the 20 bandos. Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, oh, yo, yo, yo. Now, if you don't know what this is or how these children are making so much money, I'll explain it to you. The website is pump.fun the birthplace of all Solana meme coins. PumpFun is a website that allows anybody to connect their Solana wallet and create a meme coin in under a minute for almost no cost. PumpFun allows the developer to choose how much supply they want to buy before they launch. In this example video, we're using 300 million or 30% of the supply. Every coin launched on PumpFun has a total supply of 1 billion, meaning the developer gets 30% and the other traders can buy the other 70%. You now think you can launch your meme coin and get rich off your 30%. So you launch your meme coin, but you see angry comments saying rug, scam, dev holds too much. These people think you're going to scam them because you hold 30%. But you look at the holder distribution and see you hold an unproportionately large amount of the supply. So you compare it to the most successful coins and see that nobody holds more than 2%. Your old coin fails, so you go back to the start. This time, only buying 20 million tokens, or 2% of the supply. This time, things are looking better, and there are more buyers, but now the comments are asking you to buy DEX, or advertisements, and you see that advertising your coin costs thousands of dollars. So, you sell half of your holdings to pay for ads, but your coin plummets to zero. Once again, you get angry comments like scammer, rug, dev sold. These people are calling you a scammer, thinking you are selling for a quick buck instead of growing your project. Now you've realized that when creating a meme coin, you cannot hold over 2% and you cannot sell. So what is the point? You ask yourself, how do we build? And more importantly, how are we supposed to make money launching a coin? This exact issue is what created pump fun bundling. This term comes from the early days of pump fun. Computer nerds quickly found out that instead of creating a coin and the developer buying 30% on one wallet, that you can bundle buy transactions with the token creation on up to 20 different wallets. This allowed the developer to hold a larger supply without messing up the holder distribution since each wallet would hold under 2%. Each wallet would look like a different trader and not the developer. This meant developers had 20 different wallets with their token, which they could now sell. Developers would slowly sell their tokens as the price went up. They would then spend that money on advertising for their token, further increasing the value of the remaining tokens. The term for this is known as snowballing, since the overall value would increase as your token grew larger. Life was good and everybody was making money, until trading platforms like Photon and BullX added bundler detection. Since a lot of people used bundling for the wrong reasons, people stopped buying bundled coins. Meme coin developers were once again shit out of luck, but the programmers like Infinity Scripts were making changes to avoid the bundle detection systems. This led to the bundler undergoing massive changes and improvements. Infinity Scripts created new modes to launch your coin, a bundled snipe, which creates the token, then snipes it with 20 wallets in a separate transaction, and stagger buy, which buys your coin with a delay between each wallet's buy. Now, using the new launch modes, you could once again hold large amounts of supply across many different wallets undetected. This is because the token is created separately, making the other 20 wallets look like other traders. After all these changes, bundler is simply now an umbrella term for developer tools. These changes led Infinity Scripts to becoming the best provider for developer tools, since they have the most extensive options for developers, including many different launch modes and many different sell modes for the developer to utilize. Shown on screen are only some of the modes available in their bundler. Infinity Scripts allow developers to once again utilize the many different modes available to snowball their meme coin, selling on the 20 undetected wallets as price goes up to spend on advertising, allowing them to increase the value of the tokens that they still hold. If these tools are something that interest you, you can learn more at discord.gg slash infinity scripts.